Hey guys. Hey guys. Welcome to another episode of Parker Group Live. Today we wanted to chat about a topic that is coming up more and more, believe it or not, in our market, and that is multiple offer situations. So we've had a couple properties recently that have been super popular. They get on the market and multiple offers come in, whether we're working with the buyer or the seller. And so we wanted to chat a little bit about if you are that buyer and you know it's a multiple offer situation, what can you do to make your offer the strongest possible to get the best possible chance of obtaining the property that you want? So it starts with um, writing the correct or proper contract, I guess. Um, you want to make the contract something that the sellers are going to be interested in ex accepting, of course. Um, and that starts with financing. If you're a cash buyer, you have such a leg up on other folks who are getting financing, whatever that financing type might be. If you're not a cash buyer, then sellers typically like to see a conventional um, loan because that means that you're pretty well qualified and that you have some money to put down and it's more likely that that offer is going to go through. Um, additionally, of course, price is probably the most important part of the equation. Um, the higher the price, the, more, the better the chance <laughs> you have of getting that property. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Um, the next thing you want to think about is how quickly you make your offer, so your timeline. If you see the house on the, f the first day that it hits the market and it's the dream house for you, we go, we'd suggest that you go ahead and actually make an offer right away um, because sometimes it matters to sellers if you're the first offer to come in. Mm -hmm. Additionally, um, when can you settle? If you're, if you're a cash offer, uh, we amazingly um, just settled one last week in eight days. Uh, so we can sometimes work miracles and get them to the settlement table in as quickly as about a week's time. Um, if you're a financed offer, then it's most likely going to take at least 30 days uh, for that loan to be completed uh, for you to get to um, the closing table. Mm -hmm. So the sooner, typically for the seller, the better, uh, with some extenuating circumstances where the seller may need some additional time to move out. Uh, but that's a question that your agent should ask prior to making that offer so that you can um, make those dates work for them. Um, the next thing you want to think about are contingencies. Um, so if you have a house to sell or if you're interested in getting the full gamut of inspections, um, that's going to make your offer probably less attractive to a seller. Um, because that means that they're going to have to jump through some hurdles uh, or you're going to have to jump through some hurdles before you're able to move forward and actually purchase that property and close on it. Um, Another thing that I'll talk about related to price um, is an escalation clause. So if you know that this is a really hot property um, that several people are interested in, that it's going to have multiple offers, um, we've sold a couple properties recently um, where we had this instance happen, you may want to include an escalation clause. And what this typically says is that you are willing to go up from your original offer price $500 or $1,000 above the next best offer up to a certain point. Mm -hmm. um, so if that property is $200,000, um, it's listed at $200,000, but you're willing to go up to two fifty, dollars then you can make that escalation clause so that you're not offering two fifty dollars right out of the gate if no one else is going to come in higher than that. Um, so that'll save you some grief too, um, but you want to talk about that with your agent to get creative. Right. And one other thing that people have tried just on the personal side of things is you can also write a letter to the seller. Um, sometimes especially um, if it is obviously a, a person, if they're moving from their family home, if you write a personal letter explaining what the house means to you, explaining how your family is going to love it, that does occasionally um, push an offer over the top. So with all of these things, of course, you have to think about what's best for your family, and of course that's primary. But if you are in a competitive situation, hopefully these tips can help you get your offer chosen. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out, comment below, shoot us an email. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great week. Thanks, guys.